Samanglong MLA Jam Hanglung Panmay resigns from the primary membership of Congress Party and as MLA. For let's day observed across Manipur, Chief Minister Okrami Bobi Singh asserts the government has been making efforts to prevent HIV AIDS. A remote control IED bomb weighing about 2 kg was planted at school teacher's house at Sagolda Nepra Major Lekai. And Manipur University holds one day workshop on mine education for students, including foreign delegates. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Lighting with Monica with the top stories. MLA of 53 Tamanglong Assembly constituency Jung Hem Lung Pan Mei has resigned as MLA today. Pan Mei has also resigned from the primary membership of the Congress Party. The MLA submitted his resignation from the primary membership and the post of General Secretary of the President to the President of Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee MPCC. He also submitted his resignation to the Speaker of Manipur State Assembly. In his resignation letter, he said he is withdrawing his primary membership of the MPCC in the larger interest of the people of his constituency and the people of Manipur. He also said his ex henceforth will in no way be as a member of Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee. Sources said he will join a new party after consulting with the people of his constituency. As observed in various parts of the world, World AIDS Day was observed in Manipur on the theme Hands Up for HIV Prevention. The observance was held at the parade ground of the first Manipur Rifles with Chief Minister Okrami Bobi Singh as the chief guest. Speaking at the event, Okrami Bobi says the government has been making efforts to prevent HIV AIDS after HIV case was detected in 1990 in Manipur. He said even though the National AIDS Control Organization provides financial assistance to the state, the state government also provides financial assistance to Manipur AIDS Control Society from time to time. The chief minister said the government and MAGS alone cannot prevent the spread of HIV AIDS and urged the parents and youth to test for HIV AIDS before marriage instead of reading the horoscope. Ibobi maintained that there has been a gradual fall in the spread of HIV in the last 20, 10 to 20 years in the state. Speaking about the welfare programs launched by the government to help the persons with HIV AIDS, the Chief Minister said they have benefited under National Food Security, AAY pension scheme, BPL card and job card. He appealed to NGOs, civil society organizations and Mayrapaibi members to extend cooperation to prevent the spread of HIV AIDS in Manipur. <laughs> More than 350 kilometers in the vulnerable way, but jungle in Hatane. So, the Southeast Asian countries in Mayam Sidagi, drug Kangde, Amakangde, number four Kangde, easily jungle Sida Lanthal Lage Hata, Karbara Walas in a line of Pusalapo. Sigumba, this advantage labor. Adunani, Masai Akoi, Sandel District, Tawal, the Naka, but district Ukulda Karida, Hena Sigumba, HIV, X. Manipur Network of Positive People, MNP Plus and Vihan Partners today observed the 29th World AIDS Day on the theme Leadership, Commitment and Impact. The observance was held at MDU Hall, Yai School. Speakers at the event stressed the need to understand the problems of people living with HIV AIDS and support them. Tong to MLATH Biswajit, Manipur State AIDS Control Society Project Director Hong Yo Warsang and NACO Program Officer Aditya were among those who attended the event. Tobal District AIDS Prevention and Control Committee also observed the World AIDS Day at MMRC Unity Parking Hall on the theme Hands Up for HIV Prevention. Students took out a march holding playcards that read Stop AIDS, Keep the Promise, Zero Infection, Zero HIV Related Debt, No to Drugs, Yes to Life to Raise Awareness about HIV AIDS. 
The day was also observed in Bishnupur District United Library and Sports Organization, Red Ribbon Club, NYK Bishnupur, IRCS Bishnupur and Jenim's Blood Bank jointly observed the day at Naikong Sipai Community Hall. Resource persons talk about aids to raise awareness about the disease among the people at the event. 70 persons also donated blood. A remote control IED bomb weighing about 2 kg was planted at the gate of a school teacher at Sagolban Nepra Menjo Lekai this morning. People of the locality discovered the bomb at the gate of A. Upananda, son of Ahong Zambam Santi Kumar, early this morning. A. Upananda teaches at Tiny Toad School. The locals reported the matter to Imphal West Police. A team of Manipur Police bomb squad reached the spot around 6.30 in the morning. However, they had to wait for a long time to defuse the bomb as the jammer vehicle of Manipur Police was accompanying the Chief Minister. No sooner the Zemmer vehicle of Bihar Regiment arrived at the scene around 12.15 p.m. than the one of Manipur Police also arrived. The bomb squad defused the bomb at 2.30 p.m. and then safely exploded it at the dumping area at Lampale at 1.30 p.m. No one has yet claimed responsibility for the planting of the bomb. Impal West Police has registered a case and locals expressed dissatisfaction at the delay in the arrival of the Zemmer vehicle. It may be mentioned that two explosions occurred in the same locality two months ago. <laughs> Unidentified persons torched a Tata Sumo at Kumbong Kaitel in an incident which seemed to have been carried out against the UNC's indefinite economic blockade. Sources said about 15 unidentified persons torched the silver color vehicle bearing registration number MN01S. The Imphal None transport vehicle on its way to None was parked at Kumbong Bazaar. Fire Brigade service put out the fire. The driver and the passengers were unharmed. Speaking to media persons, Imphal West Students Club advisor Bupendro says the locals of Kumbong and the adjoining areas will continue the counter economic blockade until the UNC's economic blockade is suspended. Elderly persons of the area expressed that there will be no good if the present situation continues. Masakangdaba Mukwe Tarakun Muxina Laga Nasigi no ne the Changadavne have a gari tatasumo mangle vibasi mayam changana mokuna at the riba a take to nighty hadana kosan or mayamana might have pirame kumbung the counter economic blockage at the ribasi UNC na Makwegi low riba piribasi Handuk Riba Makaidi, Kumbonga, Imai Bel Singh, Amadi Kunja, Mayam Sigaluinana, Yum Lan Yum Dong Nariba, Lekai Kungang Sing Zigaluinana. Counter economy blockade as a Dom Makata and Chatha Jakikani. One day workshop on mine education for students was held today at Manipur University. The workshop jointly organized by Center for Entrepreneurship and Skill Development, School of Social Science, Manipur University, and International Youth Fellowship South Korea was held at the court hall of the university. Manipur University Vice Chancellor Professor Adhya Prasad Pandey, Mine Education Specialist, International Mine Education Institute, South Korea, Kyun Wan Zyong, Teachers and students of the university participated in the event. Fifteen delegates from South Korea and one from Thailand took part in the event. Students from South Korea presented a new dance form. Students are also kind of soldiers. They are going to the battlefield of education. They are learning something. They are gaining something. And that is being utilized for their future. So for that, they need a regular practice and this will again create a kind of load on their mind and for that this uh, mind education is necessary. In the technical session of the workshop, Mine Education Specialist of International Mine Education Institute, South Korea, Kyung Hwan Zyong said students need to control their mind and must maintain a good relation with the teachers. 여러분이 이 학교 생활을 하면서 이해할 수 없는 일을 만날 겁니다. As you study in this university, you will face the problem that you cannot understand right now. 그건 굉장히 좋은 겁니다. That is very good for you. 
여러분이 앞으로 인생을 헤쳐 나가기 위해서는 그런 것들이 반드시 필요해요. For you to overcome the problem in your future, you need such a time right now. General Secretary of State Bank of India Officers Association noticed in circle Rupam Roy yesterday said cash from the Reserve Bank of India are provided per guidelines to the people of the state. He said there is no question of mismanagement of cash as accused by some people. Rupam Roy made the statement at press meet held at Bank of India Transit Camp in Oripok yesterday. He said the association condemned the recent ruckus at the SBI banks and termed the incidents as unfortunate. He denied the allegations that the bank officials are misusing the cash. Rupam Roy said there is shortage of cash in banks as sufficient cash is not issued. He, uh, he assured the people that problems will be solved as soon as SBI officers association members had a meeting with RBI officials. He also appealed to the public to cooperate with the bank officials as SBI officials are working for the people as per the guidelines. SBI Officers Association Deputy General Secretary Bijoy Krishna Dutta said and other members also attended the press meet. The shortage of cash which resulted in unsavory incidents at Imphal on 2011-2016 is not attributable to State Bank of India or its employees. The responsibility to provide adequate amount of cash to banks lies with the Reserve Bank of India. The branches are solely dependent on such supply of currency notes by RBI to meet customers' cash demand. In the given scenario, post-demonetization, Reserve Bank of India have, has not been able to cater to the cash needs of the banks. We, on behalf of entire bankers' fraternity, take this opportunity to inform our esteemed customers and the common public in general to restrain themselves from resorting to any violent activity or causing damage to banks' property or injury to any of its employees. We as res responsible bankers have left no stone unturned to help the public to tide over the prevailing situation in the wake of demonetization of high-value currency notes. Naga People's Union Imphal in a press note appeal to the United Naga Council to end the indefinite economic blockage in view of the inconveniences faced by the people due to the blockage and demonetization. It also asked the government to release the leaders of UNC without any condition. People today held a sit-in at None protesting the assault of Dr. Adim Ganmay who works at None primary health centre during counter-economic blockage at Kumbong yesterday. Locals of None staged the sit-in at None Bazaar holding play cards like Leave the Doctors Alone, Respect Doctors on Duty, among others. It may be mentioned that Dr. Adim Ganmay was assaulted by counter-blockage supporters at Kumbong Bazaar on November 30. Meanwhile, Old Ziliarong Medicals Union in a press note condemned the assault of Dr. Adim Ganmai on November 30. The union appealed to people not to repeat such act in the future. Ms. Krenn set on fire to government offices, journal education office and public works department Tamanglong division offices in the early hours of Wednesday. However, the fire was controlled before it caused major damages. Sources said the fire broke out at ZEO Tamanglong around 1 a.m. The chokidar of the office alerted his family and the police and doused the fire. The miscreants also targeted the PWD Tamanglong division, but the chokidar managed to save it on time. Let's take a short break. We'll be back with more news updates. Admissions open. Greenwood School, Lalambung Makong, Rims Road. Admission is going on for classes pre-nursery to class 8. Special features, well-equipped classroom, library and audio and visuals. Free computer classes, games and sports, dance and music, yoga. Admissions fees, monthly fees, textbooks and notebooks free for AY and BPL students. Transport facility. For more details, please contact Greenwood School, Lalambung Makong, Rims Road or contact 9862 -2 Eight four five six one. Pen relief oil man. Kwang Naba, Hok Sipa, Tang Sipa, Amadi, Kuna Blessing Buddha, Sinaba Yarba, Oza. Lips up Gupna Putok Saba, Oza, Sinabu. 
Welcome back. You're watching Primetime English News. The month-long 77th Nupilal Ningsing month observance commemorating the two Nupilal of 1904 and 1940 began today. The observance is organized by Nupilal Memorial Association. Floral tributes were paid to those mothers who lost their lives in those two historic events on the first day today. Dramas based on Nupilal will be staged at the month-long observance. The singer Mazamapan, whom Dragamapan, Zulai Gitada, established Oguna Tambiram by Imasing Aduna, Adunu Bay Association Asina, Sahi Kayadagi, Lepton as a Tarapa, Nupilangi, Adugun Baba, Wari singer to Maki, the Nabu Namukta Hide and Masawe by Koita, Sinabiram by Wari singer to Nasi, Nasi Pauba, Lepton as a Tarapa Duna, whom Draga Tere Laksuba, Nupilan, Ningsing Batoramado, December Gitangama, Lissinga Niga Tarataru. Adugum Raba, Nasigi, Yai Parabunumit, Asidagi, Nupila, Nixing Batoramado, Hautukpa, Numit Aduni, Nasigi Numitasi. The second Foundation Day of Committee of Civil Society, Kangley Park, CCSK, was celebrated today at Youth Hostel, Common Lump Park. Sixty members of committee dominated blood as part of the event. CCSK President Arjun Telheber said the younger generation needs to understand the history of the state, especially the merger agreement. He said CCSK has taken steps to include important historical events at high school, higher secondary and university level. India is the country, Britain is the America is the country, whereas Manipur is the original historical processing. Swine letter, but this wine like a swine like a swine, honky with transformation man, who can't do. Machi, I'm more than a scanner. How do you see? Say, Matang is a hit. I know what we say, home sang celebrity. I quit. Marilyn of departments in the government, the Kaiser, when I moved to Horani, going Marilyn of historical events in the Sir. Maroina Quina, in the other command of Murstoki, Murstoki, we control what she labeled it about. I do I never even my arm, singing Mamma Quin and never sang it. Executive members of People's Research and Justice Alliance, Praza, interacted with the students of Manipur University on the campus yesterday. About 300 students attended the session. Professor Amar Yumnam and Dr. N. Vijaya Lakshmi also attended the interaction. Irom Chanu Sharmila said if elected, she can improve education in Manipur. She also said the most important ingredient for quality education is the teachers. The rampant corruption in teacher recruitment has to stop and meritocracy in teacher recruitment has to be restored. Kochim Social Reformers Task Force Konjing Lekai Club Kaithil Imphal has drawn the attention of Governor Dr. Najma Habdullah and Manipur government to the problems facing the people due to the indefinite economic blockage imposed by the United Naga Council on the national highways. In a press release, the organization expressed surprise at the silence maintained by the governor and the state government. Manipur State Legal Services Authority opened a stall at Manipur Sangai Festival. During this festival, judicial officers, advocates, academicians and other eminent persons in the field of law, paralegal volunteers were deputed in the stall every day to answer legal queries from the public and provide legal awareness on various aspects of law. Street plays were also performed in front of MASLSA stall by engaging popular local actors of Nokpade Group to spread legal awareness on child labour, RTE, drug abuse, domestic violence and juvenile justice. Six Assam Rifles of nine sector Assam Rifles under the AGs of Headquarter IGAR South established an Assam Rifles Pavilion to raise awareness about employment opportunities in the force and showcase their contributions towards assuring in peace and harmony in Manipur. In a press release, the PRO Assam Rifles said the Assam Rifles Pavilion was based on an interactive team which encouraged visitors to interact with the force and the pavilion was popular among visitors. Inspector General Assam Rifles South and Salai Lian Lua, Chief Minister of Chin State Myanmar, also visited the store.
Government has cut short the deadline of using all 500 rupee notes at petrol pumps and for buying airline tickets at airports till December 2 instead of December 15, announced earlier. A government notification said with effect from December 3, all 500 rupee notes cannot be used for the purchase of petrol, diesel and gas at the stations operating under authorization of public sector or marketing companies and for buying airline tickets at airport counters. So from December 3, fuel purchase, airline ticket booking at airport counters and highway toll payment will be allowed only in lower denomination currency or the new 500 or 2000 rupee notes. Manipur Daily Paunil Coal, which remained out of circulation for quite some time, was relaunched today at an event held at Manipur Press Club. Director of Information and Public Relations Mega Chandra Kombam launched a daily newspaper edited by CH Mega Barna. J.S. Lashram's book Kalki Avatar and Narendra Modi was launched today at BJP Manipur Pradesh office at Nichai Pachutek. This was the book's second edition. Convener of BJP Manipur Pradesh State Election Committee, T.H. Chauba and party workers and teachers of Manipur University attended the book launch. President of Bangladesh Manipuri Sahitya Sansad A.K. Seram, General Secretary Nambram Sankar and Member Rajesh were felicitated by Manipuri Sahitya Parishad Imphal at its auditorium. Members of Naharol Sahitya Premi Samiti, Writers Forum and Manipuri Literary Society attended the event. Now news from the world of sports. Kontosam Kendra Kankut won its league match at the Singh Jamei Kang Tournament League come knockout tournament 50 to 60 years category. In the fifth league match played today at Namairapa Mandapkam Community Hall, Chingamathak, Kontosam Kendra Kankut defeated Singh Jamei Kendra A Kankut 13-12. Kundrakpam Kendra Kankut will play Wangoi Kendra Kankut in the sixth league match tomorrow. The 60th Sir Jurachan Singh KCSI CBE Memorial Football Tournament will begin on the 4th of this month. Three teams from outside Manipur besides the 10 teams of Manipur State Lake and 10 teams which won the District Super Leagues will participate in the Diamond Jubilee Tournament. KFC Senapati and AFC Churachanpur will meet in the opening match of the tournament hosted by All Manipur Football Association. Super Jim Kurai congratulated Sograkpam Bungcha for winning the senior overall title in the 5th Mr. Manipur Kamba Contest on November 27. In a press release, Super Jim Kurai also wished luck to bodybuilders taking part in the 8th body, World Bodybuilding and Physics Sports Championship to be held in Thailand. The 62nd National Under-17 Girls School Games Football Tournament will kick off from tomorrow at Kumalam Park Men's Stadium. 20 teams from different parts of the country will compete in the tournament organized by Department of Youth Affairs and Sports. In a match of the first YWC Cricket Trophy, David 11 Sagolban defeated Eagle Eye Ketrigao by 75 runs. In the match, David 11 Sagolban won the toes and elected to bat first, scoring 121 runs for six wickets in the given 14 overs. In reply, Eagle Eye Ketrigao scored 46 runs only, losing all the wickets in 13.3 overs, losing the match by 75 runs. Krachi, sorry. Srachi Langthabal will play YPC Konungamang while PS Singh Jamai will play IAS Yaripok tomorrow. Before we end, a quick look at the headlines once again. The Manglong MLA Panmai resigns from the primary membership of Congress Party and as MLA. Where well, let's stay observed across Manipur, Chief Minister Okrami will be saying a third government has been making efforts to prevent HIV AIDS. A remote control IED bomb weighing about 2 kg was planted at school teacher's house at Sagolban, Nepra Manjo, Lekai.
and Manipur University holds one-day workshop on mine education for students including foreign delegates.